Quicken Loans Arena. Now a chance to check out tonight's starting lineups. We'll get to see Andrew Bynum. A lot of skill and talent he possesses. And Bynum is one of the best centers in the league. His size is really a, an amazing advantage. He's so big, so long, and he's able to out-muscle people and just shoot right over the top of his opponents. And Steve, we know that size alone does not make you a great big man, but it certainly helps if you've got some skills. And he's really shown a desire, even though in fits and starts, to be special. More and more aggressive on offense, and because of that, he's tough to handle on the block. And the Bulls looking for a positive start here on their road trip. They're in fifth place in the East, a team to be reckoned with for sure. This is one of those games you have circled on the calendar as soon as the schedule is released. It's one of the best rivalries the NBA has to offer. And, Clark, I know you and I just get excited uh, when we get these matchups ourselves. No doubt about it, Steve, because it seems like these two teams always have a reason to be angry at each other, and that brings out the best basketball in both of them, and we love that. And here's Cleveland. It's a three-point game. Irving kicks to Waiters. Bynum inside. Dives for it. Working on Noah. Outside Irving. There's the feed to Waiters. Back to Irving. Shot clock at five. There's the pass to Bynum. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. This game going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see Come in a on. blowout, Kevin, or even a exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look and how you frustrated know. Steve is on well, I just, You know what, oh, Kevin? Just, Come on, Kevin. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up. There. I mean, he threw it down with force. Now here's Butler, averaging eight points a game. So yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. Bulls shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Well, solid numbers for this club uh, from the free throw line this season, shooting about 77% collectively. Yeah, in general, they've been very solid. I mean, free throw shooting isn't something they've had to worry about too much this season, guys. The first free throw is good. Oh, my gosh, I just got that. And so Butler nails both of them. Oh my gosh, I just got that. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Irving against Rose. Irving kicks to G. He passes to Waiters. Addition out to G. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Just five on the clock. Irving drives in. Hyman, a follow-up chance. Tell you what, they're going to have to do a better job of boxing this fellow out the net. No one between him and the hoop, the right part. Yeah, putting back slams are not what you want to be giving up if you're the defense. Now here's Rose. Hey, now Hoosier is 3 9 Irving. Rose kicks it to Noah. Stolen by Thompson. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Waiters dishes to Thompson. Kicks it to Waiters. Passes it to G. He feeds it to Irving. Lock at six. Left side, Irving. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. On defense, Cleveland. They trail by one. And it's Rose penetrating. Back to Boozer. Dishes it to Noah. The jump hook, and that one's good. Noah's got his first points of the game. He had a good clear look right over the top of his defender because of that height advantage. Everybody regards Bulls coach Tom Thibodeau as a defensive mastermind, and the numbers back it up again. The Bulls were near the top in every major defensive category, protected the paint, limited fast breaks, and made sure to challenge any shot that went up. Now, here's Waiters. Good boy, good boy. And the rebound goes to Boozer. 
That's one he knows he should have made. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Kevin, thank you. Mike Brown and I got a chance to talk for a bit. Well, he talked about how tough a matchup the Bulls are for any team because of their defense. He said Coach Thibodeau really knows how to prevent an offense from doing what they want. The Bulls are experts in taking away options. If we're going to win, we'll have to find a lot of different ways to get points. Indeed, they will, guys. Thanks again, Doris. Now, here is Irving, following the miss by Derrick Rose. G passes to Waiters. He kicks it to Irving. And the Bulls, Steve, fifth in defensive efficiency last season. And Thibodeau, knowing him, he's probably unhappy with that ranking. This team is so disciplined and hardworking. Uh, they always have a chance to be the best defense in the league. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here's Heinrich. Feeds to Dunley. Top of the key. No luck. And Cleveland the other way now. And Miles kicks to Jack. He dishes it to Verizhao. Waiters. Waiters off a pick from Verizhao. Pass to Miles. Loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. Very effective screen to set up the jumper. That was the key to that play. Butler kicks to Heinrich. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Gibson dishes to Butler. Stolen by Waiters. The feet to Miles. All sorts of time. That one off the back iron and out. Bulls have gone two or three here to start out the game. Butler passes to Dunleavy. Heinrich outside. The dish to Butler. Stolen by Miles. For the finish. Finishes the break with a slam. Boy, the kind of moments you love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. Yeah, turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. It's a tie game here in Cleveland. 